Nityanandam, this is Srinitya Maya Titananda and welcome to NTV News from Nityananda Dhyana Pidam Vidadi. It's Sunday, September 11, 2011. The headlines. In today's Bhagavad Gita Satsang, Swamiji speaks on the joys of disciplehood. N Health Program, a report from world over. Miracle of a different kind. Cyclone scheduled to hit the Caribbean dismantles in the ocean. Nityananda case, no bail for blackmailer. Now for the main news. In today's discourse, Swamiji spoke on the joys of disciplehood. While fondly reminiscing his disciplehood experiences with Arnagiri Yogeshwara, revered as an incarnation of Shiva and enlightened master from Tiruvannamalai. He elaborated on the attitude of receptivity adapted by Arjuna. Arjuna says, Instruct me who is your disciple by pronouncing that which may bring auspiciousness with it. These few words of Arjuna finally redeem him. He begins to see Krishna as his master. Due to this opening, Bhagavan begins to address the root of his problem instead of giving him socially acceptable answers. Let us watch a small clip from the morning satsang. But I feel and I realized unless I am physically here, people are not following routine properly, people are not practicing the spiritual disciplines. So I decided it's okay. Let me come and sit every day. So it's more like a responsibility. But being a disciple is a joy. I again and again thank Raghupati Yogi and Kuppamal, Yogananda, Yogananda Puri and Vibhudananda Puri. Both of them. See, both of them never treated me like a disciple. But I feel I have been given the joy and opportunity of experiencing disciplehood. One of the great experience which I never had and which I was really waiting to have was being a disciple. I thoroughly enjoyed that being a disciple, the joy of being a disciple, the celebration you experience when you sit as disciple. If you miss the morning satsang, you can watch it again on NTV. Or you can download this clip from our website, nityananda.org. In other news, N Health program is in progress with attendees from all over the world enjoying and learning new truths which change their whole perspective on health. This program is attended by participants locally here in India as well as online from over 10 countries through two-way video conferencing. We have some pictures and video testimonials from Ohio, New York, Godlobe, Toronto and of course Vidadi. Let us take a look. I'm 
Balaji. I'm from Chennai. Um, I, okay, I got introduced to uh, Dhyana Pridam and Swamiji through Ananaga Center. This is the first time I have come to this place. The only thing what I can say is, you know, it's, it's a, such a comfortable, nice environment, which is something I'm experiencing for the first time. Not just me. What will be the 150 people here? I just see every one of them just relaxed, having a you know a good comfort and enjoying the course. And uh, whatever be the meditation and the exercise that I have been going through, I, f I find it very uh, useful. I I, fi I I find an immediate uh, relief after that. And uh, uh, and the ashram as such, with whatever be the uh, you know Vaidya Sarovar, the temple over uh, here, the uh, banyan tree. Everything is something you know, so natural, so calm that I, I find the soul soothing uh, space here. And I really thank all the Ashramites and Swamiji for you know, reaching us such wonderful things to common people like us. Thanks. Should I? Nityananda. Well, the last two days uh, have been an amazing experience for me uh, because when I came here, uh, I was looking for some renewed energy in my life, some new focus and uh, some new motivation also. And I got all of them in the first day itself when Swamiji started telling the root cause of why we feel lack of energy in our life. And it's not that this was my first course, but you know, every time I attend the course, uh, from the previous time I notice that the energy level, the expression, the relationship that we build with Swamiji it goes to just another level and it is it has been a very fulfilling experience so far in fact uh, I have hardly slept three four hours in the last two days but I'm feeling very energetic and very refreshed I highly recommend this program to people because the health is an issue which is associated with certain kind of pathies in in modern world and the real root causes of disease are not very well understood in this society and what Swamiji does is he kind of empowers you to overcome diseases in our life whether it is a physical level emotional level or mental level, and kind of gives you a path which is very workable you kind of empower to do good things that is what I feel is the real benefit of this program, the sense of empowerment related relating to the issues of health and uh, basically getting control over your life, not only for yourself but your family also. Uh, actually my whole family is here and they are all enjoying it so much. Now for some miracle news of a different kind. A few days ago when the tropical storm Maria was scheduled to hit the Caribbean. Our coordinator from Guadeloupe, Message Swamiji, worried that they would have to cancel the end health program because it was being reported that the storm was all set to turn to a full-fledged cyclone. Schools and shopping malls were closed, bridges and roads had restricted access and people started stocking up on food. Swamiji messaged back to the Godloop Center asking not to cancel the program and that he would take care. And miracle of miracles, the storm not only did not turn into a cyclone, it disintegrated in the ocean never hitting Godloop. When asked why the storm did not hit Godloop, the local meteorologist said it was unexplained why the storm changed direction and disintegrated in the ocean itself. Well, he may not know, but we know, right? Chandrananda reporting from Guadeloupe Rameshwaram Center. I wanted to update you all about one of the many miracles of Swamiji in Guadeloupe. 
Uh, Enhead's program was scheduled to start on Friday night throughout the night and Saturday night to Sunday night. Early in the morning on Friday, participants called me saying that a cyclone is coming, it's called Maria, and it's as of now a tropical storm, and it's supposed to hit Guadeloupe during the night, and there is some uh, orange alert that may upgrade to red alert. It's a warning, so there may be floods and, of course, heavy winds. So the schools were closed at noon, and shops also, and people were buying food since they were supposed to be confined throughout the weekend just for security reasons. So access of bridges got... Uh, uh, diminished and uh, some roads were not uh, accessible and uh, I wrote to the ashram actually to Swamiji to ask uh, to say that we should maybe consider cancelling the program for security reason if it upgrades to red alert huh? and uh, the response was very fast Swamiji told go ahead with the program I'll take care and actually I wrote to the participants, I called him, I said, please come, Swamiji said he would take care. And uh, they came, and we had the most peaceful night. Nothing happened, no winds, no rain, nothing happens. Next day, participant came and said uh, that in the local news, it seems, uh, some people asked to the meteorologists why the cyclone didn't come, and there were so many security precautions taken, and nothing happened. And he said, they say it seems that uh, it was unexplained, but uh, when it, it came uh, close to the coast of uh, Guadeloupe, it dismantled itself and it changed direction. Swamiji says, he takes care, he does really take care. Thank you for listening. In legal news, the news headlines in today's New Indian Express says, Nityananda case, no bail for blackmailer. Prasant Kumar, who feared arrest for allegedly blackmailing Swamiji, has been refused bail by the Madras High Court on September 7. According to the Deputy Superintendent of Police of the Crime Branch, CID, Chennai, Prasant Kumar and eight other persons demanded an amount of 60 crore and extracted about 42 lakh for not publishing an alleged fabricated and morphed videograph having regard to the grave nature of the offence and huge amount involved in this case. This court is of the view that it is not the right time to grant anticipatory bail. Justice T. Madhivanan noted. The judge subsequently dismissed the anticipatory bail application in the case. And that's all from us for tonight. Before we end our news. Let's hear a quote from Swamiji. You are totally unique, so drop the attitude of comparison. Thank you for joining us and tune in for tomorrow's updates on NTV Nityananda.